we present a method for the procedural generation of riverscapes. This works by taking an input terrain with or without additional data and then generating a river network using derived drainage and slope maps. This is amplified by adding detail to the network, carving it into the terrain and placing animated water primitives, which give rise to a hierarchical animated model that can be passed to different real-time or offline applications. Our standard pipeline takes an input terrain with no additional information and generates an entire riverscape. Depending on the automatically computed river attributes, we carve the riverbed with the corresponding profile attributes. Here you can see Rosgen type A, which is the steepest river type. The riverbed is characterized by a succession of waterfalls. Rosgen type C has strong curvature in its trajectory with a low overall slope. It is characterized by an asymmetric cross-sectional profile in sections of high curvature. Rosgen type D typifies wide rivers with little slope. This often leads to riverbeds with several channels of varying width and depth. To combine these flow patterns, we use a model that defines water elevation for any point on the river as a function of time. Each pattern is a primitive with radial weight that is combined in a hierarchical blend flow tree. The internal nodes are blending operators, such as merge and replace. We have implemented several primitives, but the architecture is extensible and users can add their own. These simple primitives can be combined to produce complex animated scenes. To compare our method to standard simulation pipelines, we performed an experimental comparison. From an initial bare earth terrain, a professional environment artist was tasked with creating a virtual scene that approximated a provided example. During each iterative design cycle, the expert spent approximately two hours sculpting the riverbed, adjusting simulation parameters, and running individual frame tests. And this was then followed by nine hours spent executing the simulation. Compared to this, our method produces plausible results in a very limited time budget. Because we have the water velocity, we can place objects in the river and track their path. And we can add white water and foam effects, also related to velocity. Here we demonstrate user editing, with obstacles such as trees and rocks placed in the stream. The user adds turbulence and vortices downstream of the objects and a reflection wave upstream. This flyover of a large-scale riverscape illustrates the scalability of our method.